Okay, this video is going to show how to pair a Bluetooth controller with an iPad to play uh, various games. Now typically, um, a lot of controllers will often just work with iCade based games on an iPad, um, but alternatively there are other ways to get it running with every game, um, but often that will mean rooting the device, which is uh, obviously sort of a few steps more than usual. But so what I'm going to do is just show how to get a controller like this Bluetooth 8-bit do working with an iPad playing some retro games. Now, the, as you know, probably, most of these controllers, especially the 8-bit D ones, have various different Bluetooth modes. They've got about five different modes. I'll put a link in the comments to the different types. But effectively, they can emulate a joypad, a keyboard, and they can integrate with iPad iCade, which is what we're going to do. And they can also um, have there's a couple of separate modes as well, and custom firmware to make them work straight away with uh, the Wii and... Uh, PlayStation 3. So first thing we're going to do is on the iPad, and this is a fairly stock iPad, it is updated so it's using iOS 9.01, but in here we're just going to turn off, turn on Bluetooth because that's what's going to need to connect to this controller. This is an FC30 Pro, um, but any of the 8-bit do range and most probably other types as well will work fine. But uh, this range is quite good in that it's got a specific connection mode for iCade based games, and that's what we're going to hook up with now. So if I go in settings, I've got Bluetooth, obviously you need to turn that on. So if we swipe that on, um, it's quite happy to discover. Now, you've got to turn this on and get it in the right discovery mode. To put it in iCade mode, you hold down that A button, which is this one over on the right. So I'm going to hold down A. Whilst I put on, I don't know if that's coming out well, but you hold down this power button and as soon as the light comes on, let go. And the blue pattern then, you see it's flashing three times in a row. And that's the right iCade method. So there, it's come on the iPad now, it's already seen it. It's quite happy to pair that and you can just click to connect it. If it was just two blue flashes in a row, it's uh, emulating a keyboard. If it's just one, it's a joypad, but uh, this is the one you want. And you do that by holding down A as you turn on. But again, I'll put a link to the manual. Okay, so that's the right one. I'll tap that. And it should pair. And you can tell it to pair because the blue light here has gone solid. It's stopped flashing. So, And it says up here, obviously, connected. And that's pretty much all you've got to do to connect one of these to an iPad. That's, that's done. You can see it's pretty easy to do. No problem at all. So go back to the home page, and, or home screen. And we've got uh, Namco Arcade down here. That is an IK compatible game. Basically, any IK compatible game should now work fine with a, a Bluetooth controller. Uh, I'll put a list in the comments so you can see which ones are compatible. And let's run it. Okay, I've enabled the Gallagher one on this one, so go Gallagher, and I've got the controller here, and to put credits in, you can hit select, and if I hit select, you should see on the screen, there we go, it says, do I want continue uh, or new game, I'll press start, and I'll stage select one, press start, and here we go. So you've got a D-pad and a um, analog pad on this one, and both work fine. So I'll try to get both on the screen. There we go. And there's only one um, fire button, which is B, on this. The others don't do it because there's only one button anyway for shoot. Works absolutely fine. And uh, even better if you pay more attention. But obviously, you know, you can set this up exactly as you need it. You've got the right distance on there. And the range is great. It's several meters, so there's no problem with that. And the analog left-right works fine as well. That. But uh, besides the poor gameplay, the point is that's easy to connect. It takes about you know, 30 seconds to do, and any IK compatible base game will connect to that fine. And it's say, often this type of game, having um, a touch screen doesn't quite feel right because, you know, 
originally it came with a joystick really so um, getting more tactile controller involved um, makes the games play a lot better really and um, it's quite a range to choose from um, all of them are pretty well these ones I'm trying to sort of retro obviously but uh, it work with modern games that are IK compatible as well and all the 8-bit do range seem pretty solid in that respect but like I say I'm sure other Bluetooth controllers will work fine as well. Hope that's been some help.